you want to see how I got this look here, which I'll zoom in and I'll just, you know, get a little close for you guys. I'm all up in your grill. Why all in my grill? Okay, no, sorry. I'm bugging. Um, lips. Here are the eyes. Again, I use the Copper Sparkle from MAC. I'm trying to use more of my MAC pigments. I realize I have a few, I've got maybe eight or nine MAC pigments full size, and then I have some sample sizes that I actually really, really like, and I'm going to use them more. So, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Bye. <laughs> yeah. 300 start by taking a shadow that's close to your complexion and I'm going to use bamboo and I'm going to put that under my lid and into the uh what the, the crease area <laughs> and that's going to be my transition color and it's going to allow under the eyebrows to look more natural I don't want um any shimmery or even a, just a bright highlight under the brows Oh, natural. <laughs> now I'm going to take Sketch by MAC and I'm going to use that to begin shaping out my crease and um, winging it as well. Don't worry, you're going to build up the color and then we're going to add black to it so it's going to be a lot more defined than what it is. If you want, you can actually have a base here that's going to make it stand a little more. You can use a white base or any color you want, but Now we're going to take a black pencil. You want to get one that's nice and creamy. This is from Too Faced and it's just a black liner. And we're going to define that crease more. I'm going to follow the shape of my eye and it's okay if it's messy. We're going to blend it out and it's going to be covered up anyway. We're just using it to really define that crease and that winged liner that we're going to have. You're going to take that same angle brush and go back with that sketch from MAC and that's the color that we're going to be using to blend out this line. Now we're going to take Let Me Pop, which is a paint pot, but paint pot by Mac, which I absolutely love. It's gorgeous by itself. I mean, look at that. It kind of gives the same effect of what we're going for. Um, you can totally wear this by itself with a wing liner on the lid near the lashes. I absolutely love this, this paint pot. Then we're going to go in with Max Copper Sparkle Pig Sparkle Pigment in a flat shader brush. And we're going to wet that with Urban Decay's All Nighter Spray, dip it into our pigment and kind of smoosh it around the top of the pigment because it is a chunky product. Makes it a little more creamier and then we're going to place it all on the mobile lid on the paint pot. Now we're going to go back with that brush and our sketch eyeshadow and work it in on that liner. Then we're going to take that pencil and connect <laughs> that outer V, if you will, line that was missing. And again, we're going to blend that with sketch, sketch, sketch. Now we're going to clean up with my favorite face wipes from Neutrogena and that's also going to help define that line right there and clean up all the fallout from this glitter because like I said it is chunky it, it can definitely give you fallout so you want to have your foundation for last. So we're going to use a Kat Von D ink tattoo I think it's called ink liner or something just to line our lash line and define that wing which is going to make it look more wingy more wings. 
and of course we are going to blend next we're going to go back with our first color that we started with transition color and just blend out those lines make sure nothing is harsh now we're gonna go for lashes and we're gonna use the Ardell's Romantic and they've got such wonderful gems on them. And then you're gonna take that same liquid liner and just go above the lash band. Now we're gonna take a brown eyeliner. This is from Urban Decay. This is called Bourbon. And we're gonna smudge that under our lower lash line. And of course, blend it out with that sketch. And then add a little more of that pigment. In the Sorry, I'm out of focus, guys. <laughs> it's gonna get worse in the other day. Just a heads up. Now, we are going to do our concealer. I love this! L'Oreal True Match, and I am, I believe, N67, C something, 8, something like that. And I'm taking this brush from the Coastal Sense Elite brush set, and I'm just going to blend that under the eyes, clean up, and define some of that liner in the lower lash line, and just blend it down and blend it. Now, I'm going to use some mascara just to coat my lashes and blend them in with the falsies. And I'm also going to put some on my lower lash line, which I absolutely hate because I always manage to get mascara on my skin, as you will probably see. See that little dot right there? Okay, that's what we're doing. And that's just going to blend our lashes together and make sure, you know, they look proper, proper. FaceTime, so Rockin' Republic brush, blush in Angora. And we're going to use that all over the face. Then we're going to go in with, um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Rockin' Republic brush, blush, powder, oh gosh, and velvet. <laughs> And I'm leaning to the side, by the way, because I can't see the mirror because it's hiding behind the uh, camera. And this is also Rockin' Republic powder in Chanel. And that was my daughter walking by. And there goes my little bear. And I'm using this to just go over under the eye and the nose and the cupid's bow and the chin just to give a little hint of kind of highlighting. To act like I actually, you know, tried today. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a mineralized skin finish from MAC. I have no idea what the name of this is, but it gives a nice peachy golden kind of hint to the cheeks. And that I think just goes with the eyes and with the lips. It's subtle and yet it's there. And then my other son. And for lips I'm using MAC's Morange lipstick and I lined my lips with chestnut lip liner. And that's it. Bye. And all the brushes that I will be using in this video are from the Coastal Scents Elite brush sets. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah. 300. We back. <laughs> we